The targeting of niche markets and tourism has been a tactic adopted by many Southeast Asian countries to gain more revenue from foreign visitors. The new Malaysian's marketing strategy, for instance, could become the next step in tourism promotion in the region. The promotion of niche tourism markets has been the tactic employed by many Southeast Asian countries in order to add values to their existing natural and cultural appeals. In recent years, Southeast Asian countries have hosted many events and festivals aimed at drawing in visitors through particular interest in music, food, art, religion, fashion, culture and sports. Malaysia, who has been one of the top destinations in Southeast Asia for tourists, is very active in creating new events and tourism promotional schemes in order to create more attraction and gain more tourism revenue. According to the Malaysian Tourism Minister, Dr. Ng Yen Yen, Malaysia is making 1 billion ringgit a week from tourism, and she is keen in expanding this revenue stream by implementing various promotional schemes from boutique shoe festivals to bring in shoppers through to eco-tourism to attract nature lovers. Dr. Ng Yen Yen also reviews to RCN TV news that Malaysian tour operators see the benefit in utilizing attraction in ASEAN countries outside of Malaysia in wooing in tourists to the country. We have developed a package, Malaysia, that's very ASEAN, which is called ASEAN UNESCO Tourism. Malaysia has two UNESCO sites, which is Malacca and Penang. Indonesia has Barubadu, right? So we develop ASEAN UNESCO sites, one, two, three, three in one. Tourists will come to Malacca, Penang, and then they fly to, Jog they fly to Jog Jakarta to see Barabado. Furthermore, the Malaysian tourism minister said that this heritage site tourism in ASEAN is going to expand to encompass destinations like Angkor Wat in Cambodia and Ayutthaya in Thailand. This tourism scheme by the Malaysian government and tour operators reflect the tourism appeal and potential that ASEAN possess as a region. While packaging iconic destinations in Southeast Asia may be a relatively easy step, one obstacle that remains is the issue of visa for visitors from outside of ASEAN. The Malaysian tourism minister spoke candidly to us about this issue. So we will leave it to the uh, authority, visa uh, issue authorities discuss. But of course, from a tourism perspective, we would like to see like Europe, EU, no visa. You travel here, travel there. But it's not as simple. Uh, Sector as just looking at tourism perspective, many more in labor, yeah, flow of goods, etc. Understandably, traveling visas and immigration procedure remains one of the sensitive areas that ASEAN members wanted to maintain individual controls over. Nevertheless, if tourism schemes like the heritage site package that Malaysian tour operators are experimenting yield profits. Perhaps a joint tourism visa for the ASEAN region will be something that Southeast Asian government should seriously push for in its implementation so that more could be gained from making the 10 ASEAN countries a single tourism destination. I'm Panuk Wong Shaum of Thai News Agency reporting for ASEAN TV.